Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host. I'm going to do a quick explanation of what I'm going to be doing in the course of this video. I've got four different budget Irish whiskeys and three different Irish stouts. Uh, Jameson, Patties, Hellcat Maggie, and Rider's Tears are the whiskeys. And we have Guinness Extra Stout, Murphy's, and Guinness Draft. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go through these combinations of four whiskeys and three stouts and figure out which one makes the best tasting Irish car bomb. So stay tuned for round one and so on and so forth. I'll just pick a winner and then that group is going to go to the next one. And we're just going to bang through these real quick. Hopefully this won't be too long of a video. So stay tuned. Thanks. And uh, take care. Up first, we have Jameson, run the mill Jameson, and Patties. So, because I don't want to get hammered drunk, I'm pretty much going to cut the ingredients in half for taste only. I got the uh, limited edition uh, Guinness Draft Stout can. It's got a little bear on the front. Uh, I don't know what he's sitting on, but I'm going to do about half a pint and uh, in each glass. Let that settle. Get everything made up. Go ahead and just all right. So there goes my half a pint of Guinness per glass. Um, I've opted to go, I'm not using Bailey's Irish Cream, I'm using a cheaper St. Brendan's Irish Cream liqueur, so, don't hit me, God, Bonnie, alright, let's go ahead and knock this out real quick, so I'm going to do a quarter ounce, no, yeah. We're going to go ahead and do half ounce. Half ounce of whiskey. Half ounce of whiskey. Probably should have only done a quarter, but oh well. Half ounce of patties. Um, and we're going to do a quarter ounce. And this is my own concoction. I've there's several different variations of this, so you can make your own. Um, I'm going to do I'm going to do a quarter of that, and then the rest of that, and so this doesn't begin to curdle. I'm going to go ahead and drink this one first. So, cheers. quite tasty it's like chocolate milk oh man I don't see why people don't drink car bombs more often yeah. all right so we're gonna go back quarter ounce of liqueur and then quarter ounce of coffee liqueur so that one's really good. This patties is going to have to do something big to overtake it. So here we go. Uh, you know what? 
believe it or not, I think I could actually, I actually tasted a difference. This one, this one had the better flavor. This one, not near as much. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and push Jameson on to the next round. Patties, you're going to take a seat. And uh, oops, I don't need to take that out just yet. I'll finish the video. Patties is going to take a back seat. Jameson's going to go on to the next. And uh, this will be part one. So part two will be coming at you tomorrow. And we're back for round two. All right. So round two, we're going to do Hellcat Maggie versus Ryder Tears with Guinness Draft Stout as our beer. Um, so like in the first round, I'm going to go ahead and measure out uh, a half ounce of whiskey. And I'll do these one at a time so as the, uh, the uh, liqueur doesn't start to curdle. We're going to do a quarter ounce of liqueur. Irish liqueur, cream liqueur, whatever, Irish cream, and then a quarter ounce of coffee liqueur. So we're using that same measurement on all of them. Drop it in, watch it go. Now, that one wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give me a palate cleanser. So it might look like I'm doing these all back to back, but I'm spacing them out so I'm not doing a bunch of car bombs. <laughs> in freaking 15 minutes hopefully y'all don't think that i mean i'm not that stupid i got shit to do the next day so we got half ounce whiskey whiskey quarter ounce irish cream and i've got little lines on this so i can see how much i'm doing and then quarter ounce coffee liqueur all right, here we go. Riders tears down the hatch. Drop it in. Uh -oh. I think I like Riders tears better on that one. Yeah, yeah. Riders tears tastes a lot better down the hatch than uh, Hellcat Maggie. So, Rider's Tears moves on. We'll do uh, Rider's Tears and Jameson next. All right, we're back for round three. So, the two that I liked the most using Guinness was Jameson's and Rider's Tears. I've already got the, the Guinness poured up. Once I finish this one, I'm gonna start in with Murphy's. We're gonna do the same for whiskeys, all with Murphy Stout. Uh, record those, find which one tastes the best, and uh, go from there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my shooter with my Irish liqueur. And then my coffee liqueur. And uh, we'll start with Jameson, since it won the first round, and uh, watch it go. Mm. Delicious as always. Yeah, pretty tasty. Jameson might have a uh, a sweeter profile to it than the others. I haven't done, after all this is said and done, I'm going to have to do a, a just a standard review 
<clears throat> over Jameson. So now this Rider's Tear is actually a copper pot steeled. Uh, it's a vatting of single pot steel and single malt Irish whiskey. So it's going to have a bit different flavor on it as well. So remember, we're doing a half ounce whiskey, quarter ounce Irish cream, and a quarter ounce coffee liqueur. So, with that said, round three commences. tough I think I think I'm have to go with the Jameson it has a uh, a bitterness to it that didn't go well with this concoction so my favorite car bomb Irish car bomb right now with Guinness draft is Jameson. I'm going to go ahead and run through the Murphys. We're going to do the Murphys real quick. Uh, find out which one tastes best with Murphys Irish Stout. And then we'll do the uh, Guinness Extra Stout as well. And then we'll have our top three. And I'll probably just leave it at that. I don't know. I might do a head to head and just do three car bombs back to back. So we'll see. Uh, but stay tuned and uh, like always check out the bearded idiots. This is the end of uh, round one I'll post another video of round two for this Murphy's and uh, <laughs> Have fun doing it. So don't forget I got links in the home page and on the uh, description So check that out like always drink some whiskey drink a car bomb have fun. It's St. Patty's Day uh, And y'all take care. Thanks